My name is John Parker Hammond. I was born on March 14, 1928. What follows is a record of certain events in which I took part between the years 1980 and 1997 on an island I will call Site B. Site B was not to be a theme park, but a research station. This was where we did the real work. By 1989, international genetic technologies had succeeded in their design to genetically recreate the dinosaurs. It was an unprecedented accomplishment, the pinnacle of 20th century science, a work to rank with the achievements of Galileo or Einstein. But it was not all so easy or so simple as it appeared. And seldom hears the true history of such events. What happened at the place where the world changed? How it began? What were the reasons? What was the cost? So today we're going to be playing Trespasser, a game that came out in 1998 and most of you probably never heard of it. And I feel like the reason for it is because when it first came out, it looked more of like an unfinished project rather than a fully developed game. The idea behind it was to create an open world survival horror game when you dropped on, on the island and you are navigating through, you know, locations and uh, trying to basically survive against all these dinos, right? But it was way too ambitious for 1998 and the, the budget restraints and the technology at the time, I mean, even simply computers couldn't handle it, you know? I remember my computer couldn't even load it and even though this game looks awful today, it like, it, it looks better than what it is at that time. Um, yeah, so it, I think it would be very hard to get this game at that point. Um, the one that I'm using was like a box version from, from 1998 and you need a lot of patching, so... Um, there's a devoted community to keep this game alive. They're creating, you know, custom levels still up to this day, until this day, which is uh, trescom.org. I'll link it down below for you if you want to check it out. Um, for me, I feel like even though this game looks awful and plays awful, you know, it's so frustrating. There, there's something about it that I keep going back to. Like, there, there's something so nostal nostalgic and immersive about this game you just want to get back to. I keep watching other people play it and hoping that more people would record it because it's just fun to play, to watch it. Um, I think what makes it very unique is the commentary, the memoirs that are recorded by Richard Attenborough, who portrayed John Hammond in the first Jurassic movie, Jurassic Park. So it, when you think about Jurassic Park, you, you think about, you know, Malcolm and, and Dr. Grant, but what makes it more like it is it's actually his voice and it's John Hammond, right? So for me, that's, that's the thing that makes it so special and so just like you want to go back and never leave that world, right? Um, but yeah, nonetheless, if you'd like to follow along, please strap on because it'll be like a hell of adventure. <laughs> a lot of probably screaming. <laughs> but um, let's go. Let's jump in. adventure, my little Indiana Ann, world traveler extraordinaire. Well, give me a call when you get back, okay? By the way, I thought you hated flying.
There we go. I thought it's not gonna load for a second. I'm gonna trespass. Don't do it to me at the beginning. <laughs> and there we are. We are on Isla Sorna. Welcome to Trespasser. Look at the tail of that plane. It looks looks the size of Anne, right? By the way, Anne is our protagonist, so we're gonna be. We know it's a her. <laughs> um. Let's see if we can swim, huh? It's warm. The adventure begins here. Yeah. I don't think I feel like swimming. Uh, sure. You don't. You don't. Huh. Huh. I think huh. I heard. There's a way to glitch huh. it. Can you crouch even? Can you hold this? We can crouch in the water. Okay. Well, I'm standing. Anyways, I've seen people trying to like a speed run. This level, so what they do is grab onto that mm, door and just hop on, <laughs> just magically, like you know, Aladdin on his carpet. Um, okay, so welcome to Trespasser. Beautiful game, beautiful graphics. Yes, very pixelated. So uh, the first thing we m remove QWS, we would jump. We don't have legs, but we have boobies. And uh, because we don't have hood, this is the only way to see our health, that little tattoo heart, which uh, fills up with red if we take damage. The main way to interact with the environment is our right hand. I'm guessing the left one is broken. Uh, because of the fall. So... Look, the idea that they wanted to create with this game was interaction with the world, right? With this, this one hand that we can grab onto things, twist things, move things, and uh, hold things with us. Hold them even though they're probably like the double the size of, of N. Um, but yeah, we can, and we can twist it around, so you'll see. But also... I lost the train of thought. It makes it difficult to... A lot of puzzles as we go, you see, will have a box stacking or something stacking on top of something. Can we grab it? No, we cannot. That'll be difficult with that one tiny hand. Um, this is our only speed. Wait, actually, we can, I think, walk slower. How do you walk slower? Oh, wait, this, this is slower. And this is running. So to make it quicker, if we have to run away from dinos, we're going to be using bunny hopping, which can be quite annoying, sorry. However, that's the only way to get out sometimes. So um, this layout is, I think, called Foundation when we are dropped on to see how physics works in this in this game there we go as you can see it started moving sliding because there's no friction there you go that's one of the boxes we can take them with it can i put it back it's throwing how the heck do you put it back that looks quite heavy but not for n Ooh, i glitched her hand you can also die <laughs> throwing these boxes on yourself. This is for us to kind of um, test the controls. This bar is levitating. Why not? If I touch it. Okay. So with that, if we take my foundation match. maybe. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Luckily, it, it, I think it's one of the first games that actually you don't need to pick up any health packs, we just heal over time. I wonder what's up there. Never been there. Let's go check. Pick up an object, move your hand near it, then click the right mouse button. Oh, yes, the tutorial. Um. Hmm. Look at this beautiful pixelated mountain. <laughs> All in one, one kind of pattern. It's great. But, to be fair, you see all these trees out there? They look like a, like a wallpaper, right? Um, they're not 3D looking. However, if we get closer, at some point, they will turn into a 3D model. The, the thing is, it's just up oh, very far. And there's a levitating mountain. This, guys, 
That's our objective. That's where I have to go. <laughs> so, vamos. Uh, <laughs> yes, on the top of that mountain, we basically get rescued if we get there. Um, if, if you want that, we can jump around. I don't think it's necessary because we'll be jumping around quite a bit. You know what, to be fair, it looks it it's looks beautiful alright. beautiful here. Must be one of the offshore islands. Coco's one of the Cinco Muertes, maybe. Cinco Muertes, indeed. So Cinco Muertes is a... Um, five islands. Huh. I, was, I can't remember what we oh, are. Perfect. Um, maybe Aztec or Maya? I think it was Maya. Where each of the um, island names means some... Horrific way of dying. I'll get ready for the next one to explain to you. And now we have a gun display, because that just happens in the jungle, right? Uh, we have um, a badass gun. Eight left. The fun gun. Hang on, how do you. Heavier than I thought. Wait, let me use another one, because I don't want to shoot. Keep it steady. I can't remember the controls. How do you put it on the. Oh, you can calibrate it, that's right. Ooh, wow. We can probably shoot ourselves if we try hard enough, you know? We can shoot like this. Hey, whoa, whoa. Okay, no joints. Hang on. Eee, come back, I can't see it. There we go. Kinda ish. How do you? Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Oh, she just keeps saying it if I press R. Hang on. Six rounds. How do you? E? Okay. So with E, we're holding. So we can hold one gun on our side, on our back. And the other one, we just have to hold. Eight shots. Hand. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this. Six one. left. Take Eight this shots. One. There's no bullets, no ammo, so and we'll just call the number of bullets that we have in the gun. And each gun once it's done with her bullets, that's pretty much like a rock that we're carrying or a stick. Here we have uh, a possessed chair. Eight shots. I have to throw an object. You always throw towards the center of your view. Cool. Step up and try to nail a paint can. Okay, that's what you want us to do. Alright. This is awful. Center, huh? Hey, got it! Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Pass. Eight left. And the heart is good. I think with this one, what they want us to do... I'm gonna throw it over. I think they want us to jump over and stack up these crates first. Go on, things we'll be doing. Oh, look at that! Oh, actually, I can do it. You can actually just push the the gate if you if you're too frustrated with <laughs> with jumping. But ooh, let's try to jump over. Oh my gosh! Maybe right. no. maybe if there's a phone line or a radio. There we have another type of weapon, a melee weapon. Which is awful. We're not gonna be using it. Eight left. You can try at some various times. You can uh, they give us like a rock or some other things to just mash our uh, tractor's heads, but it's it's not it's not very effective. So I think there's only one or two melee weapons that are worth it, worth carrying. Ha! Ha! This is pretty awful. There's usually things... Engine. Some kind of... Wait. Yeah. International Genetic Technologies. That was the company from the dinosaur trial. After the trial, that old guy, John Hammond, wrote a book. He, he said it was somewhere in Central America. My name is John Parker Hammond. I was born on March 14th, 1928. Oh no. Oh God. This is Site B. This is John Hammond's Lost World. So what happened was, for those of you who are not quite sure, um, John Hammond found a book in this universe, right, that we're in. Anne read this book, and so what we're going to be hearing is part of this book that she memorizes, and we're going to hear it in John Hammond's voice. And that's the memoir so I was telling you about it there. That's the the juicy part of this game. 
Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Welcome to Trespasser. Hmm. One more thing about... Maybe a gun or something. So since we can calibrate it, right? There's also a big thing of the gun... Hang on, I'm focusing. Okay. Cannot look. Whatever. The dinosaurs... Dinosaurs? <laughs> dinosaurs? <laughs> Let me put on my American accent. Um, there must have been something in the memoir. A Nobel Prize or a financial empire wait somewhere in a darkened room, in a dirty, derelict building, somewhere in the Pacific. The dinosaurs can knock up the gun we were holding out of our hands. Ooh, there's another gun over there. See, it pays off to kind of... Hear it? Shots. She grabbed it, but it got a bit stuck. Ten shots. Ten shots, okay. By the way, to hold a shotgun. Like that. <laughs> With one hand. That's seriously impressive. I don't think there's anything out there. Huh. Huh. Climb back up. Here's our first dino. Let's get back on the road first. Where is the road? Fuck. I don't want to miss any voice cues. Hang on. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck here. Because Anne doesn't do... Give him back. Give him back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, game. Don't do this to us. Not at the beginning. Hand doesn't do very steep approaches on mountains, so... I have to be very gentle with her, otherwise she just glitches. By the way, we don't have a shadow. But the gun does. <laughs> we can hear the stomping! You should take it. Hang on. Nine. Ooh, that's loud. That's a spicy sound. Oh my, you couldn't fall in the worst spot. Oh, wrong button. Nine shots. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's push it with our body, because I don't feel like carrying it. And just try to push the jump button, yes. Nine shots. Nine shots. Oh man. He really did it. Brachiosol. Oldest of our recreations by 50 million years. The only true Jurassic yeah, native. of our laggy and glitched dinosaurs, yes. I think what they wanted to do from what I read is um, the dinos don't have scripted movements, so it's sort of wherever they put their, their feet, that's what it kind of propels them, moves them to, so that's why it's each game can be different and unpredictable because they move different. Well, this one doesn't move at all, so this one's just gazing into Horizon, like, jeez, what am I doing here? Right, let's do what the game wants us to do. So I'm gonna throw this game over there. If it falls, made it. They want us to throw the rocks at these boxes and climb like that. Huh. Huh. Made it. Sometimes if you jam your jump button long enough. Eight shots. All right. Bye, Brachiosaur. Oh, this guy is stuck. 
Do not go into high grass, right? I knew all along this was a stupid idea. They're probably out drinking right now. And and who? I believe. All right, we should have our first Jackasaurus here. Where is he? I can't remember where they were. Supposed to be behind some kind of a rock, but I really don't want the first one to eat me. I'm huh? unsafe. Oh my god, I didn't huh? save. Huh? Where is he? There he is! Whoa, God! The flower just scared me! So there's our first raptor! We'll see if we can aim at him. Seven. Got him! Here's our first tribe A raptor. See, when you hit them the first time, they retrieve. Not like a heal, I guess. Got him! Five. Three shots. Cool. Let's go ahead and say huh? hi. No other ones, right? Jumped on. Alright. Tribe A Raptor. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at his belly. Can we crouch? How do I crouch? Oh, we don't crouch. We could. Oh, we crouch. Up, up. Oh. Yeah! I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> Five shots. Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, so, <laughs> raptors. The technology, the real trick of it is still in there. In a darkened room, in an empty building with a dirty floor. It waits. The flashpoint. The origin of Jurassic Park. Right. <laughs> raptors. There's three types of ra raptors on this island. Each of them huh? gets a bit more difficult to to defeat. Ah! Damn it. The true horror of this game is the traps. The, the jumping part. God damn it. Hop, 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 and hop, and hop. Yes, made it. Thank God. This is actually difficult. Because if you Five rounds left. Raptor in the head. They actually have hitboxes in the head. Um, we can kill them with futures like this. A forest one. this wild, this unknown, has not been seen by any human since the great hunters of the early Pliocene. Fuck, I have to take a break, sorry. Ooh. Sorry about that, a little break. I'm back with um, the news. As we watch this beautiful view, maybe some raptors coming up um so the cinco muertes are they come from the native american myth about brave warrior fencing a different execution on each of five islands burning drowning crushing hanging and beheading so we have um isla mantaceros isla muerta peña sorna tacaño so great um very gruesome how do I swap? Eight shots. Where are you? Oh my god, it sounds like it's behind us. What the heck? Did you hear that? Really, really gr growl? <laughs> I started like stuttering. That's what they did to me. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about it. Like it's so... It's so scary because it, it sounds like it's coming from everywhere. It's like all around you that sound of... You don't know what was, and they like to put the raptor somewhere, like to fall on you or like spawn behind you. He's growling somewhere in front of us, right? Know that because he's not behind us. But oh my god, come on! I hear him. It really huh? sounds like it's behind us. What the heck? <laughs> it's gonna be a great adventure. <laughs> I don't know what it's about it. Like it scares me to death, but then also like I, I. Oh, there he is! I'm gonna play it. 
<laughs> it scares me. It's so loud. Okay, let's try to hit him in the head. Hey, buddy. Come on. They don't do well against like any card of destruction. Okay. So that's what that feels like. Ooh, that's great. Get a headshot, I think. Ah, uh, to be fair, they are the, the easiest to kill. They have the least amount of HP or damage. So even if they bite you, this like it's not. <clears throat> I don't think it's that deadly. How they crouch again? Good raptor. Up top. Good raptor. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna. Looks like seven. Put them again. Uh, yeah, and the way they do damage is they um. They run with to with open mouth, and they have that little strip around, like I think their teeth or, or a tongue, which hurts, which causes damage. Let me shut up for a second, make sure there's not another one. And um, so if you avoid that little part, you're fine. But there's been incidents, let's call them, where you kill them. They die with an open mouth, you step on it, and it still hurts you because of that little strip. I think that's it for this. this Velociraptor. This a small theropod native to China and Mongolia. Pack hunter, quite vicious and quite intelligent. This was the place. This used to be just an urban myth. Guess it's true, Anne. I think I can leave the gun or just like shoot it. I think this is the end of the level. That is really loud. What the heck? Can I? I don't know because it's all sounds right. If I put it a little down, it will make all sounds quieter. I'll just fix an OBS later. But holy shit, that's loud. Wheel, <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> Leave it behind us. Um, okay, level one. Short level, very much more like an introduction. Basic um, controls, two dinos to kill, like a practice run, right? Welcome to the city of tomorrow. Hmm, let's say. Alterhan Causeway. Transit from the town of Boros to South Beach and Visitor Center. Opens. Third, oh, sorry, that's March 15, 1990. I'm sure, I'm not sure how it lays with them. You know, the timeline with the movies as well as the novel. Because for those of you who don't know, um, Jurassic Park is based on Michael Crichton novel, The Lost World, which is so good. Like, you should definitely read it if you haven't. Um, because it's not really what we've seen in Jurassic Park movie. The movie is very much... Um, oh, look at those trees. They're like copy-paste. One, two, three, four. <laughs> they really didn't bother. Like, look at them. Oh my god, it hurts. Um, the movie is very much for kids. Like, ad adjusted for kids. But it, it wasn't as, as... As, I don't know, PG-13, right? The movie, the, the book starts with... <clears throat> I don't know if I should spoil it for you. Or not. Well, maybe just that one scene, just to get you excited for it. But the the novel starts with a Costa Rican doctor encountering a patient that is dropped out to their clinic from the island that they're building, like an exotic resort on, um, with a lot of bites and scratches that seem to be foaming up, decaying, and some kind of a weird toxin in them, you know. And uh, before the guy dies, because he dies on the operating table within a few minutes, um, he whispers, Raptor. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Welcome to Site B, an in-gen research facility. Call the train. For centuries, mankind has wondered about the dinosaurs, the largest land animals ever to have lived. Now, thanks to breakthrough technology... Well then, <clears throat> don't think the train is coming. I see the monorail. The monorail will be a big part of the next level. Yeah, Alright, let's throw it out there. Eee! Okay, if we 
Fuck, uh, we should save it, because I believe if we fall here... One. We die. So... Actually, she's very responsive to jumping. I remember the first time I played, like, it was the most difficult thing to, to ask her to jump. It was, like, jumping, she was jumping every second time. So, it would be great. Ooh, I'm full. Should we test it? No, we're not gonna test it. We're gonna die. Okay, guys, well... Thanks for joining me with this um, this new gameplay. Let me know what you think of the game. If it's if, if it's something that you would want to play yourself or want to watch, should we keep going or not? Um, and I'll have a quick cut right here because this is the end of the level. As soon as we jump over here, even though it would normally kill us this jump, uh, it doesn't matter because we we start a new level. Also, just to let you know, five shots. As soon as we... Oh, I wonder what happens if I throw it there. Um, with each level, we lose all our guns. So, that's not gonna be there when we land. But, worth a try. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.